It's probably been 25 years since I camped in this exact location. Why? Who knows, but time flies. So I just thought to make sure that I didn't get lost, I would plot the route out on Garmin Connect and send it to my watch. As you can see, the route starts in a lane and then traverses towards the three tours um, of Head Mountain. On the left, you've got the West Tower. Um, in the middle here, you've got the Summit Tower. And on your right, you've got the South Tower. Join me now as I work my way up towards the West Tower. Tom Hill Adventure, welcome to my channel here again from the Moore Mountains in Northern Ireland. Tonight I'm actually on Hen Mountain, a uh, quick camp just before lockdown. So, conditions are not great at the moment. Uh, Hen Mountain is 350 metres. Uh, we're going to go up. Uh, the last time I was actually up here, uh, I was in the summer, I had a, an expedition tent for season and it got flattened by the wind and tonight I'm heading up to exactly the same spot. Uh, although tonight I'm actually in Ellyburg Solo which I think will stand up to it and the weather forecast is not bad. So please join me and hopefully we will have a little bit of fun. Leaving the West Tower, I now make my way uh, in front of the Summit Tower and move south towards the South Tower. Just to this little spot of grass that you can see as I zoom in now. Uh, I don't know if you watched the video the last time I tried to like this. Sometimes it can be a little bit temperamental. Let's just do the same tonight. There's little indentations on the actual burner itself where it's supposed to light it from. Sometimes it just doesn't, just doesn't take. That's why I always do it outside the head. Uh, I keep my I don't know, I keep my head back because I have on previous occasions had singed eyebrows, but you can see it glowing up red there. Um, so once it gets lit, it doesn't take too long. The burner size here is just so big that it covers and actually um, it's kind of like a concave shape and it fits right up inside the pot and covers such a good large surface area in the pot. Uh, so I'm really just firing this up now for a hot chocolate. I've been really lucky tonight. Uh, there's been loads and loads of like really really fresh puddles on the rocks. Uh, you'll see around a bit better in the morning. Uh, but really, really fresh puddles. In fact, I think you could, the water is so clear in them, I think you could nearly just drink straight out of them. I always just bring little sachets of um, hot chocolate. I think they're just easier to work with uh, than doing coffee or anything. Um, the coffee just, um, I, I like proper coffee. And the difficulty up here is proper coffee is just gonna. I know there are some options that you can can use that you can buy that are pretty good, but I've never really got around to doing it. I've always been happy enough with the hot chocolate. So it'll not be too long before this is ready because this really does give out fantastic heat. Um, it's great just to be up tonight, actually without the conditions were quite harsh earlier on but it's just settled now and it's lovely um, it's lovely to be able to sort of kind of sit in the tent and not have to have everything closed up uh, you can't really see it at the moment but the moon's out sort of a little bit uh, to my right there uh, and there could be a few stars out tonight later on as well and um, we might get some more nice photographs so really I try to get out in all sorts of conditions and Tonight is the last sort of time I'll probably be out. Northern Ireland is actually going into a six week lockdown for Boxing Day. So I just thought I would take the opportunity and get out. Um, you can't always pick perfect conditions to go out in. Uh, so I think that's certainly well boiled up.
Good morning. Uh, it's a fantastic morning here. I will show you around in a moment. Um, this is a great little location. Uh, as I said before, it is a location where I did have a tent pretty much destroyed um, many, many years ago uh, in summer. Um, but apart from showing you around, there's not really much else on this trip. Last night just wasn't really um, a good night at all for filming. Um, there was mist until very, very late on. And then once the darkness is down, all you can see then is the light that I'm showing you from my torch. Um, so that's really about it. What I'll do now is I'll pack the tent up. I'll let you see me taking a tent down as I haven't really shown you that before. So thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what you're watching. And subscribe to the channel as well.